this presentation is of a federal slash ITT step-by-step -step system. This is a hundred line central office. This was online a few years ago and it's been converted for CNET and operating a private telephone collection. The 100 line, line group. So we had the line and cutoffs on the bottom. The line finders are up high. And then we have the common equipment for the line group. Has a small distributor switch as part of the allotter system. These relays are similar to the Western Electric line and cutoff relays. This is a mechanical interrupter. And then they have a motor type interrupter. I've never seen an interrupter like this before. This is the primary interrupter for the office. And there's a problem in the common equipment that it doesn't see a ground pulse from this. And this will be a future repair project. Some of the trunks that was used with the machine, but they have been changed over to different types of trunks when this was in service. The local first selectors in this office is much different than your typical Western or AE type office with the can cover removed. When they went to touch tone, they had to upgrade the dial tone generator to precise dial tone so that the tone converters were not receive distorted tones. We're looking at the vertical side of the mainframe. The horizontal side of the mainframe. They have a really nice string of batteries. This is for the operating company. This size would be ideal for someone like myself or a collector that had a central office. Have the rectifier that's running the office and charging the batteries. There's also a 1A2 COM panel in this. The power board for the switching equipment interconnecting to the rectifier has the circuit breakers in it and so forth. And then we have the rear of the ITT machine. The other switch frame. They also have an ITT ANI identifier this was added to the office years later. This concludes this part of the video.